Hidden in the turbulent waters of southwestern Mindanao, approximately 62 miles, 100 kilometers, from the region's most populated coast, lies one of the most dangerous geological structures in the Philippine archipelago. The Cotabato Trench silently winds from the waters of the Moro Gulf to the depths of the Silibe Sea, forming an underwater scar that extends for hundreds of miles, hundreds of kilometers. This oceanic fissure is not merely a common geological formation, but rather one of the most lethal elements of the complex trench system that surrounds the entire Filipino nation. For millennia, this region has been the stage of a continuous and relentless geological drama. The Sunda Plate, a massive rocky structure extending for thousands of square miles, thousands of square kilometers, is inexorably pushed beneath the Philippine Sea Plate in a process that occurs at a rate of two to three inches, five to seven centimeters, annually. Although this rate may seem modest when compared to other global subduction zones, the force accumulated over decades creates colossal tension in the Earth's depths. Like a giant spring being slowly compressed, energy accumulates in silence. Most of the time, these tectonic plates remain firmly locked against each other, trapped in a deadly embrace that can last for periods extending decades or even entire centuries. During these long intervals of apparent calm, practically no significant seismic activity manifests in the region, creating a false sense of security among coastal communities. People live their lives normally, fish in nearby waters, build their homes by the seashore without imagining the titanic force that silently accumulates beneath their feet. Then, in a moment of absolute terror, the inevitable happens. The plates release catastrophically, not in horizontal movement as would occur in conventional terrestrial faults, but in dramatic vertical displacement. The ocean floor can suddenly drop or rise several feet, several meters, in a matter of seconds, displacing monumental volumes of seawater. This vertical movement is precisely the mechanism that generates tsunami waves, and the alarming proximity of the Cotabato Trench to the densely inhabited regions of Mindanao transforms this geological feature into an underwater time bomb. It was exactly 11 minutes past midnight when the Earth shook violently in August of 1976. The Moro Gulf, which until then slept peacefully under the cloak of tropical darkness, was suddenly shaken by an earthquake of magnitude 8.1 on the moment magnitude scale. The local population, immersed in deep sleep, was brutally torn from their dreams by a force of nature that few had experienced in their lives. At that time, there were no warning systems, emergency sirens, or any type of communication that could alert communities about the imminent danger approaching from the waters. The earthquake itself was devastating in its intensity, powerful enough to shake the entire expanse of Mindanao Island as if it were a toy in the hands of a furious giant. Architectural structures collapsed instantly, urban and rural infrastructure failed completely, and chaos was installed in a matter of minutes. However, as terrifying as the earthquake was, its duration was relatively brief, lasting only a few agonizing minutes. What came next, however, would be much more deadly and lasting in its consequences. Between five and ten minutes after the initial tremor, the first waves began hitting the coastline with unimaginable fury. In certain areas, these liquid walls reached heights of up to 49 feet, 15 meters, while in other, more vulnerable regions, they rose to terrifying heights of 98 feet, 30 meters. The seawater advanced inland with a speed and force that completely obliterated everything in its destructive path. Entire villages that had existed for generations simply disappeared from the map in a matter of minutes. Wooden dwellings built by families over decades, fishing boats that represented the livelihood of entire communities, educational institutions where children learned and dreamed of the future, religious temples where people found hope and comfort. Everything was swept away by the waters as if they were simple leaves carried by the wind. Those who managed to survive the initial earthquake found themselves facing an even crueler fate in the relentless waves. Families were separated forever, and bodies were carried out to sea, disappearing into the dark depths of the ocean. When the sun rose the following morning, revealing the complete extent of the catastrophe, the scene was one of absolute desolation. More than 8,000 people had lost their lives during that terrible night, while thousands of others were injured or simply disappeared without leaving traces. Entire coastal communities were literally swept from existence, leaving only debris and painful memories as testimony to their former presence. This event remains recorded in history as one of the most lethal natural disasters to ever strike Filipino territory, a dark mark that echoes through the decades. Experts in seismology and oceanography dedicated intensive years of research 
to completely understand the mechanisms behind the tragedy of 1976. They meticulously mapped the geological fault rupture, analyzed tsunami wave propagation patterns, and deeply investigated the factors that contributed to making this event so deadly effective. Through this rigorous scientific analysis, they identified multiple elements that combined perfectly to create a catastrophic storm. The temporal factor was crucial in the magnitude of the disaster. The midnight timing meant that practically the entire population was in deep sleep, completely vulnerable, and without any possibility of quick reaction. Even if someone had knowledge about the approach of a tsunami, there would not be enough time to alert entire communities or organize effective evacuations. The geographical proximity of the Cotabato Trench to densely populated coastal areas created a situation where the deadly waves hit the coast in an interval of only five to ten minutes after the initial earthquake. The complete absence of preparation and warning infrastructure represented another determining factor in the scale of the tragedy. In 1976, the Philippines possessed practically no early tsunami detection system, no established evacuation plan, and no educational program that taught the population how to react when seismic tremors occurred near the coast. The unique geography of the Moro Gulf region, characterized by extremely low coastal plains, allowed tsunami waters to penetrate deep into the interior, flooding river valleys and causing destruction for miles, kilometers, of distance from the original coastline. Since that fateful year, Filipino authorities have implemented significant improvements in their monitoring and alert systems. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology now maintains constant surveillance over seismic activities and issues tsunami alerts when necessary. However, this system still presents concerning gaps, especially in the Mindanao region, where coverage and effectiveness remain inadequate. Even more alarming is the geological evidence indicating that the Cotabato Trench tends to produce large magnitude earthquakes at intervals of 50 to 100 years, and exactly 49 years have passed since the last major destructive event. If you are fascinated by these hidden forces of nature and wish to continue learning about the most dangerous geological phenomena on the planet, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to not miss the next content about the most extraordinary natural threats that roam our world.